We say that we're aiming to prepare and educate students who are morally committed, spiritual, intellectual, and professional leaders grounded in the Islamic tradition and conversant with the cultural currents and critical ideas shaping modern society. But how do we know that we're doing it? And accreditation helps you to answer that question. So as far as the priorities of the college are concerned, accreditation has always been number one. Uh, what Zaytuna College decided to do was to embrace the process and um, consider um, the accrediting body, uh, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, as a real partner in uh, our institution building uh, process. But we don't view it as something that's um, extrinsic or extraneous to the work that we do. The way we've approached accreditation and the way that I have and with uh, my particular division in the faculty is just to do the best that we can do and uh, bring excellence to the workplace. Zaytuna course, like any college or university um, that wants to sort of establish itself as a regular institution, has had to go through the process of applying for accreditation. Accreditation is a, a system in place across the entire nation and now other parts of the world as well which allows every uh, institution to be judged by its peers and judged um, both that it has um, the resources to really do the education it promises it will do, but also engages in best practices. Perhaps because Zaytuna started out as, as an institute and in that there was a, a conscious decision made to become um, a college that it's, I, I just find the school exceptionally thoughtful in what it means to become a college. So, so WASC has this concept of self-study and then we began to mention that amongst ourselves. Well, this isn't something that's foreign to us because in our tradition, you know, perhaps it's ascribed to Omar, ascribed to Omar that he had said, you know, take yourself to account before you're taken to account, right? So this idea that we were constantly, you know, taking ourselves to account um, is something that we're aspiring towards inside of our dean. So now it really was just, you know, how, and this is something which I feel is a beautiful concept because now it's in every aspect of your life. It's in your work, it's in your family, and now it becomes in building a college. Taking the college through the accreditation process uh, with WASC uh, is similar to taking a startup through an IPO or initial public offering. It is really about transforming the processes people, the culture of the college, to operate at another level. Accreditation for us means that we're moving from a Zaytuna.org to a Zaytuna edu. It actually means that Muslims have an academic address in America. For our students, it means that they are seamlessly able to move from one institution and another, that their degree is recognized. It means that they can apply for master PhD with at ease, without having to worry that the institution is not accredited. It means that we are able to host conferences that are recognized academically by partner institutions, not only in here, but across the world. It means that families, donors, as well as those who are across the board in civil society, they know where to go if a question about Islam is raised. I believe that accreditation would really um, just push us forward in that, you know, we would be able to seriously talk to um, our neighbors in Stanford or at UC Berkeley or, you know, down at UCLA. Being accredited means a lot to the student, to the student body because the interaction we have with other institutions would be at a lot, much broader level and uh, would, that would definitely be appreciated um, to just increase and start, start to engage in Western academia in the way that we should, that we hope to um, engage in as, as we get through this process and as we become accredited. The other thing I wanted to say about Zaytuna is, and being an Islamic institution, is that um, you don't have to look very far to find out how important Islam has been to science, to literature, to the development of law, uh, and was 
uh, very seriously committed to uh, the preservation of scholarship and the new scholarship throughout you know, many, many hundreds and hundreds of years. And so it's not like education is something new to Islam. <laughs> it's woven into its whole heritage. Um, but it's nice to see it surfacing in America in this particular way. Just to be a convert to Islam uh, some 30 odd years ago, never imagining that I would be involved in something of this magnitude, just uh, thinking I'm gonna be a Muslim, I'll learn to pray and do whatever I can do and have a normal life. And uh, then to see how Allah Ta'ala just moves uh, us through this life and puts us in places that if left to our own devices, we might not necessarily be in. But Allah wanted us there for a purpose and for a reason. And to be a part of, of this amazing project and to have Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala place me personally in this situation is just overwhelming. It's absolutely overwhelming. And we pray that Allah Ta'ala blesses it to continue to grow. For us, this is sacred. For us, this is special. For us, this is, this is, a, this is a means of serving Allah and His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And um, if we can do that and do it really well and maintain excellence in serving Allah and His Prophet, we've accomplished everything that we have accomplished. Our greatest accreditation, as Sheikh Hamza has said time and again, our greatest accreditation is with God. So we, we started this process, it's been a very arduous process, but we're about to go in and meet with the Western Association of Schools and Colleges Committee. We've already had a site visit and we have did a self-study of 39, 39 criteria that they uh, want you to be compliant with. So we're going to go before the committee and we're hoping that inshallah it'll be a very positive experience and we're hoping to uh, be the first accredited Muslim institution of higher learning.